let's see how much I can film because there's no battery on my camera. So that's just nice. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do the first update to my single ladies and my man mad project pen that I'm doing with Amanda, Jessica, Brandy, Flora Lisa and Amber F. And I'm very excited to bring you this update even though I don't have any pen. So that's kind of a spoiler for the whole update actually but I'm really excited because I do have some tips and I'm really excited to talk about what I have been doing for the last month. If you're not already you should follow the other ladies because they are doing so well I'm so impressed and I kind of envy them because they have pan and I don't so so this is a project where wow so this is a project where you choose one matte palette and then four single shadows. This project overall doesn't have an end date so we kind of end it when we don't have any matte palettes left in our collection and even then I think we are going to find out what we are going to do afterwards. There's no pressure because we don't have an end date so we can just work on them as we want to basically. For the matte palette I chose my Morphe 35OM palette. <laughs> I really wanted to work on this palette this year because I have had it since 2016 and I can count on one or two hands prior to this project how much I have used it. So I really wanted to get more use out of it and for this project use it up. So I will insert a picture of where I was in the intro last update. And this is where I am now at February 7th. When you first look at it you can't see any progress but when you zoom in and really look at it there's some dips and you can see where on the shadows which which is really nice. <laughs> I'm going to talk to you guys about the shades that I have used that I remember being using. So today I have all the shadows on that are in this project. Not all of these basically but from every single palette, pan, whatever. I usually set my eye primer with this shade. I'm just beginning to do that because my primer is not uh, my primer is acting up on me so I have begun to uh, set my eye primer and I am using this one because this is a very very pale uh, light color and I'm very pale if you can't tell. I use this as my transition shade, this as my crease shade and then these are my outer V shades. So that is kind of what I have going on my eyes today and what I have experienced with this palette is if you blend too much it, uh, it it's kind of not there. <laughs> And especially with these two darker shades. I don't know if it is only these two shades, but they can turn up kind of patchy and kind of muddy. Those two particular shades are not my favorite to use, but I can make them work and I can make them look kind of decent, if, if you ask me. So I have been working on this row in particular, and you can see some wear and dip in especially this one. And not that one, but a kind of small dip in that one. And somewhere in those two. And then I have used this orange shade a few times. I have used that shade a little bit. So you can see some holes in it. That is from a brush. And there are some holes in these three as well. I um, don't know if you can catch them on camera but there's some holes in some of the shades and that is from a brush that I'm using from Soeva. Those five are the ones that I am consistently using and then I just play around basically but I'm focusing on that row from the beginning. So I think I'm doing great. It is a very dry and powdery formula so I think I can go through it. <laughs> Hopefully. So the next shadow I want to talk about is a single from the single ladies. It is the Essence Snowflake Single Eyeshadow. And this is a very very light uh, pale white shadow. I have it in my inner corners. I usually do that. I have used it a few times as a highlighter. Yeah, I will insert of course the picture from last update. I don't think I have one. But as you can see there, I have been forming a dip. And that is a thing that I can show you guys about this single. But I love that single for everything. It is 
amazing. The rest of my singles from in this project right now is from Kiko. These are numbered, they don't have shade names, so this is uh, 139. So it has a slight dip in the middle, I believe it had in the beginning as well. That is how it is looking. I have it on the middle of my eyelid right here to blend the gold and the brown together. And of course the gold, what I have on my eyelid. It is the Kiko High Pigment in 18. And then I have the Kiko High Pigment in 54, which is a purple. And I have that on my lower lash line today. So I really, really love these eyeshadows. They do need a base. They really do. But again, it's kind of a pigment shadow. So you need a sticky base for them to show up. Oh, my nose is running. How disgusting. That is kind of my update. I don't have really much to talk about. And I don't have any battery, <laughs> as it seems. So I hope you guys enjoyed this update. And I hope you guys are going to follow along. Follow the lovely ladies that I'm doing this collab with. And until my next video, I hope you will take care.